Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of The Chosen Ones. This week, we're going to try and force Cassiopeia carry. Building around Cass should be easier than most of our attempts. I mean, Cass is a four-cost unit with big AoE damage and big crowd control, and we can buff up that damage by leaning into her Dusk side. So the question isn't really how do we build around Cass, but instead how do we get one? I looked up how to get a snake girl online, and it really opened my eyes to a few things. I mean, I've always thought of Cassiopeia as a grotesque giant snake woman, but I saw that a lot of people see snake women, or lamias as they call them, a bit, uh, differently. But you know what? The first rule of YouTube is to make what the people want to see, and I am a man of the people. So today, I'm going to show you guys how we can find our very own Big Snake GF. It's going to take a few steps before Cass will want to even join our team. Steps is probably the wrong word, in fact. It's more of a slither. So, slither one, I guess. Uh, we need dusk units. I didn't get any, so I hedged my bets. All of these units share a trait with a dusk unit, so whatever one we find first, we should have some synergy with. It's also the weakest board you can have while still having three units out. But honestly, I'm okay with that. With Cass, we have a lot of item components that we really want to get, so losing early is fine. Fans of the channel have probably seen how difficult it is to get first place, but it's equally difficult to be the worst. I mean, how can I compete with this? So I'll be honest, I was struggling to find good research on how to land a snake girlfriend. What I realized was that the how to catch a snake guides probably weren't as applicable as the how to land a girlfriend steps. So we're going to follow this handy tip from the girlfriend side about bonding with her friends. That's why we've added Vayne to the board, our first dusk unit. And it's already paying off. I mean it's just a little bit of synergy with Nidalee, but all of our units are two-starred and we aren't that weak in this current moment. Speaking of weak, if we jump ahead a bit, we can see a team comp that I'm sure would make Cass's knees weak if she had any. We've added Thresh and Kennen, giving us Dusk as well as Keeper and Ninja. I'm a big fan of running Keepers with Thresh in the early game, as they both want units tightly clumped together to get the most of their shields. And since it's early, we don't have to worry about a lot of the scarier AoE ults like Ari that punish clumping. Because of this, we can end fights with the whole team basically at full health. These big wins are real confidence boosters, which is perfect because confidence is exactly what you're going to need to land a gorgeous Gorgon like Cass. You can see, even though Cassiopeia isn't with us yet, I have a lot of good items for her. I originally was going to have Kennen be an item holder for her, which is why he has the Morellos in GA. But honestly, I think we're going Keepers, so I don't really want to sell him. We will be selling the Nidalee eventually and giving Cass her Giant Slayer because it's important to make sure we have a gift for Cass when we get her. I don't know too much about snakes, but I assume their love language would be gift giving. Most snakes I know would be happier if I gave them some food than if I read some of my poetry to them. So you can see now that we have three dusk units, look at that, Cassiopeia wants to join the party. Well now that she's here, how do you keep her? Well, according to my guide, I'm getting mixed signals. It says to be polite, but the picture is a passive-aggressive guy saying you're welcome before she even walks through the door he just opened. So maybe try being a bit passive-aggressive. A few example phrases you could try? No, no, take your time. 120 mana is totally not too much. Or, it's fine. I guess a two-second stun is like being turned to stone permanently. Same thing. The important thing is to still be polite, so when she does go off and evaporate the enemy team, make sure to say you're welcome. You'll want to have your new snake girlfriend feel like the center of your universe, so arrange everyone in a big ball around her. This isn't ideal for your keepers, as it means less keeper to keeper shielding, but they aren't your girlfriend. Your new snake life partner should be your priority. If you want a keeper, forget about the keepers. Our final build for Cass is definitely damage focused, which isn't horrible as she does have a ton of shielding. Let's actually take a minute just to zoom in on Cass's damage output. The fun thing about Cass is her damage is obviously very tied to her ult, so she doesn't do much and then boom, she gives you that look. You guys know what look I mean, right? The look a snake has before it eats you. I don't know, I'm not sure I get the appeal of a snake girl. But if you do, that's fine, to each their own. And I will continue guiding you down this path. So we already had a ring formed around our cast. 
Well, if we want to make things official, then I think all we need other than that is a romantic spot. So where else could we go than under the moonlight? And who knows, I don't know if snakes are nocturnal or not, but maybe she'll like it even more. Now I know the big prize we've been working towards this whole time is having a cool snake girlfriend. And if that's your priorities, great. But you know what? I think if you look at the journey we've had, the rest of the team really holds up as well. I mean, Cannon is still putting out great damage. We have a two-star Riven who has items, not great items, but items. Jarvan with the double frozen heart getting to the back line and slowing down everybody. It really is a solid team, even if you ignore your snake waifu. Even though we're in first place and this is the final round, we are going to come in third. But you know what? It was a super close game and it really could have gone anyway. So how do I rank Cassiopeia carry? Well, I think she solidly lands in the S tier. Because her ults were very impactful and visible and 6 dusk is always fun to try. Anyway, I hope you liked the video and if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. I make between 1-2 to two of these every week and it's always a blast whenever I get a new sub. If you don't feel like subscribing, that's okay. You can come fight me IRL. But watch out, I can unhinge my jaw like a snake and I also have arms. Hashtag double threat.